today on Fox 5 Morning, Happy Birthday America. Two of the biggest 4th of July celebrations happening right here in our backyard. And one of them is causing political fireworks. Health Morning, two local playgrounds test positive for lead. What you need to know before you let your kid play outside. And a big announcement from Disney. There's a new Little Mermaid in town. Fox 5 Morning at 5 a.m. starts now. And good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. It is Thursday. It is the 4th of July. And you should be in bed not watching because I hope you have the day off. Or in bed watching. Or in bed watching. There you go. Up early. Hey, we're glad you're with us. And we do hope it's a great holiday. Indeed we do. Mike Thomas is tracking our forecast today because, Mike, we hear that nature might want to get in on the act with some thunder boomers today. She probably does. She might want to put on a a pre-firework show for us maybe early afternoon. So uh, the hope is that we get them out of here really quickly. We have the uh, fireworks later. We're going to time it out for all of us on future cast here in just a couple of minutes. All right. All right. We hear traffic's taking a break today so we're not going to talk about that we'll just skip over it right now 459s are time and want to get you right to our headlines we do have breaking news from overnight and an amber alert in virginia the warren county sheriff's office is looking for this missing two-year-old boy his name is Raquan Allen Ashby, and he has curly brown hair, as you can see right there, big blue eyes. Last seen wearing a light blue Paw Patrol shirt and red and black light-up Paw Patrol shoes. Sheriff's Office believes he is with this man, 21-year-old Jasper, Jasper R. Ashby. Uh, he's a black male with brown eyes and blonde dreadlocks. Here's a different picture of Jasper uh, where you can more clearly see his face. He was last seen yesterday afternoon driving a red 2008 Chrysler Town and Country minivan. It has Virginia license plates. Virginia State Police say they found that minivan abandoned in Warren County. Also breaking overnight, one person is dead and another is in the hospital after a shooting in Stafford County. The Stafford County Sheriff's Office was on the scene of Uh, 1075 Garrisonville Road just before 1130 last night. Right now, no word on a suspect nor a motive. All right, let's get to some of the big events happening in the district today. Events in D.C. start just before noon with the National Independence Day Parade on Constitution Avenue Northwest. Gates opening there at 3.30 p.m. Uh, for President Trump's salute to America at the Lincoln Memorial. That starts at 6.30. And then the annual Capitol Fourth gets underway on the west lawn of the U.S. Capitol at 8 tonight. The big fireworks display, they're expected to begin at 9. And if you're headed downtown today... Uh... Captain Obvious, expected to be crowded. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not just me and my family. Hundreds of thousands are expected to gather on the National Mall. Fox Wise Melanie Alvick, she's already getting a head start with everybody. Uh, she's in Southwest with a preview of what to expect. And Mel, we're calling you like the uh, Capital Fourth correspondent at this part, at this point. Good morning. <laughs> At least just for the early morning parts, let's hope, right? Uh, So we, we did sort of the loop around the National Mall, the Constitution Avenue.